Hey guys, how are we doing? So this is Dan from Trading with Dan and we are going to have a look at the DMT and the dominator indicators for Bitcoin and Ethereum and um, see what they're telling us, see when we're going to be looking to take some trades. So straight over to the um, Bitcoin 15 minute chart. Um, you can see the DMT line is moving up. <laughs> it looks like it's going to make a move up again, maybe possibly to around 8,900 level. Um, so that will be our new sell level, um, <clears throat> um, but we'll have to wait to see where exactly it does settle. Um, but yeah, that's a 15 minute DMT. Um, price action has not really done a lot today. We've sort of just hung around, hung around the highs, and um, we had a couple of moves, well, over overnight for me, um, and then yep, yeah, and then we just hung around here this morning, um, and then the rest of the day. Um, so looking at the dominator on the if you, first if you look at the dominator on the 10 minute you see maybe possibly coming down for a sell and um, which will then feed through into the 15 minute which is still in a buy the 20 minute that's still in a buy and then the 25 minute which is the one that we take trades of off um, so yes it's still pretty high so we probably won't be getting a sell at any time any time any time um, soon on the 25 minute dominator um, but that is fine though we've got to give Markets a chance to play out, see what they want to do. I mean, this market could easily, easily stair step higher again to around nine thousand three hundred, maybe even nine thousand four hundred. So, DMT and Dominator are keeping us safe in the moment, telling us that the trend is still to the upside. Um, so, um, we're not going to be taking any, any, any bot trades um, in the immediate future, <clears throat> unless we have some sort of spectacular dump. Which I mean, it, it can happen in Bitcoin. Very easily can happen. Um, so yeah, so over to Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum sell line is um is very low, very low, uh, very far below the price. Um, well, not very far, but it looks it on this chart, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, around um two twenty two, uh, two twenty two dollars in Ethereum. So that's for the fifteen minute, um, fifteen minute DMT um sell. Um, and then if you want to go up to twenty five minutes, just check the Dominator. Um, yeah, Dominator got us a buy signal here, which is a nice trade. We spoke about I think that in this morning's video, um, and then yeah, so we're not we're still quite high in the Dominator, so we're not going to get a sell here. So um, we'd expect these markets to either either move on upwards or hang around at these levels for the time being. Um, there's still quite a bit of, of upwards momentum still in this market, um, so we'll have to have to see what happens um, in light of our indicators if you want to look at some of the bigger time frames uh, look at the bigger time frame for Bitcoin so look at this hour time frame you can see in the hourly um, we're not too far away from breaking above the buy line so this just shows that we are we are at the moment in quite a strong strong uptrend um, obviously we're in a very bearish trend and we sort of stair stepping our way up um, so we could break through that one hour um, DMT um, one hour, sorry, Dominator one hour has gone has turned into a buy. Um, I mean, it was a sell around there, didn't really amount to or anything really, um, and there was a buy there. But we don't we don't use this one hour. It's just it's just a, a a form of reference to see what the market is looking like. And then yeah, if we go to some higher time frames, two hours still we're still a we're still a million miles away from um, turning into a DMT buy on that on these higher time frames and the eight hour time frame. We're quite far away from coming down to a sell, but obviously we don't trade those. We just trade the the short term moves and momentum with the DMT for breakouts and the Dominator for price exhaustion. Um, so that's that's how we're going to do this, taking the market trade by trade, step by step, um, and then yeah, see how we're getting on. So yeah, over to our over to our bots. You can see that um, we made one one profit and one loss, or lot it was a loss first and a profit with the dominator, so it was a net gain of of not much. But we're not trading this in small size. In we're only trading this in small size at the moment. So we will ramp that up once we get some winning trades under the belt. Um, so yeah, I'll just go over to our deals on here. Ah, oh, it's been a bit slow. <clears throat> um been very slow isn't it but yes yeah, so you can see with 12 deals now 12 trades here's the last two that we did um, in smaller size than normal um, so yeah so remember it's not a financial advice I'm not a financial advisor it's just an update on the indicators um, and yet yeah, I will speak to you guys in the morning again oh in my um, in my own my own separate account uh, separate to the bot account I did 
Um, I stopped out my shorts um, around um, around the high nine thousand eight hundred levels, not around high nine thousand eight hundred, near nine thousand nine hundred. Um, and I have actually, um, because not not in large size, I have reshorted um, above 9,100 now. Um, mainly based on the weakness that I've that I'm watching in the in the actual um, traditional stock markets. That's why I've decided I'm going to take another stab at this short. Um, that was the original reason for my short as well. Um, but then, but then, like I said, we did have the rally um, in stocks yesterday so especially towards the close so that was my reasoning for thinking we could basically um break up so i did um and reduce my um take profit my not my take profits my stop losses to basically not far um t i tightened them up basically um because i was i wasn't sure about um i was actually selling off in the face of stock markets rallying so i did think that we would have this push up um so i tightened the stop so i wasn't really going to take much of a loss on the trade and then that left me in a position to um, re-enter the short, um, a good couple of hundred or so dollars higher than where I got out, and we'll we'll have a stab from this level. Um, so yeah, stock market said yeah, stock market said down basically. That's why I've decided to do that. Um, and yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the original um, the original uh, this morning I decided to short it was um, after I saw stocks basically weak all day, and then we popped back above nine thousand one hundred again. That I've I've taken another another stab at this short but we will see what happens i've got i've got plenty more bullets left um to um put um to sell a, a bit more if we keep going up um or if we keep going down sell a bit more um but yeah we'll see how it goes um and yes yeah, so thanks for listening guys and i will speak to you all on the next